Okay, today what we're going to do in this section of the class is we're going to learn how to write equations of lines. We've, we've already done a little bit of that in the previous section where we've plotted some lines on the, on the graph and we've looked at exactly the slope and the y-intercept and things. In this section, we're going to learn about two different rate ways to write the equation of a line down on a piece of paper. The first one we've talked a little bit about, the second one we haven't, that's called the point-intercept version of the equation of a line. You're going to see this stuff is really not that difficult, it's not that bad at all, and you're going to see that it follows really logically from the material that we've already um, worked on. So, the first thing we want to do is a little bit of a review. So if I write on the board here, what if I give you, just in the class here, two pieces of information about, about uh, a line. The first is, I say the slope is equal to 4. Let's just say I give that to you. And then I also tell you that the y-intercept is given by um, 0, 5. And then the question is, on the test or the quiz or whatever is, given these two pieces of information, the slope and the y-intercept, write down the equation of the line. Okay, Just to jog your memory, the general form of what I consider the easiest equation of a line formula to remember is y is equal to m x plus b, where m is the slope, like we've already said, and b is what we call the y-intercept. Really, all you have to do is memorize that, and this is one of those things, you know, I'm going to try to tell you the things I think you need to memorize and the things I don't. This is one of the ones you really need to memorize, and you will by working these problems. So by knowing that y is equal to the slope times x plus some number, b, the y-intercept, you can immediately write down the equation of the line. All I need to do is I say, okay, y equals slope is 4, 4x plus, and all I need to do is figure out what is the y-intercept. Um, and I've given it to you in the problem. The y-intercept is 0, comma 5. Um, so the y-intercept is 5. Because remember, if I were to plot the point 0, 5, that's going to be up here on the y-axis because I'm plotting 0 and then I'm going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the y-intercept. That is the point that the line intersects the y-axis. Um, and you could make a table or whatever the other methods that we looked at and you could get all the points here and you could figure out what this line is going to look like. Um, and you can see it's got a positive slope which means it's going to slope somewhere this way. Rise over run is going to be 4 uh, on the rise, and run is going to be 1. So if you wrote it down, you'd see that the line would go something like this. But what we're trying to do in this section is to write down the equation of a line, and that would be the equation of that line. 